I recently read somewhere about the idea of drying wood with a microwave and I thought I'd like to give it a try. So the first thing I did was I picked up a microwave. Seemed like an obvious thing to start with. I wasn't going to dare to use my wife's because she's not called she who must be obeyed for nothing. Wouldn't be a real good idea. And I got it on sale at a really reasonable price. Then I took a piece of wood, this one right here. It's three and a quarter inches square, more or less square, and five and three quarter inches long. What I did was put it in the microwave for two minutes on high, then I took it out to cool for three minutes, and I was amazed at the amount of water that was oozing out of the end. It was just bubbling and boiling. Let it sit there for three minutes, put it back in for two, sit for three, back in for two, and I did that 12 times. When I started with it, it was 780 grams. After that drying, it wasn't losing any more weight each time I put it in and it had gone down to 500, so it had lost a third of its weight. Now I don't have a moisture meter, so I don't know what the percentage is, but it is pretty dry right now. Then I decided I'd try a smaller piece. This one was about three and a half inches square, but it was only about three and a half inches long. It weighed 500 grams. No, pardon me, it weighed 330 grams when I put it in. I nuked it for two minutes, let it cool for three, nuked it for two, let it cool for three, then I put it back in for two. And I have a bad habit of not paying attention to something that's cooking or whatever, that's why I don't barbecue anymore. And uh, after the two minutes, when I opened the door, the smoke billowed out of there like you wouldn't believe. Luckily, I was wearing a glove and I was right beside the back door of the garage, so I grabbed it out of the microwave and threw it out into the snowbank, it's the right time of year for that, and let it cool. On the piece, when I took it out of the snowbank, on opposite sides there were two holes about the size of a quarter, and they were black. So I put it between centers and started to turn it just to see what was inside there. Well, when I got down toward the center, it broke in half. It was absolute charcoal in the center. That's all that was there. So let this be a warning. If you decide to nuke something to dry it out, be careful. You can really overdo it in a hurry. So that's all I want to do is just give you a heads up on this. It works. It seems to work very well, but you have to be careful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day in your shop. Be safe. Don't do this. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care now. Thanks for stopping in.